Hello, my name is Britt, and today I'm going to teach you how to uh, flip a stick on the drums, or the drumstick. Uh, I couldn't find any good YouTube videos on it a few years ago whenever I tried learning this, and uh, I had to kind of put some pieces together myself. So I'm going to share the pieces that personally work for me, and maybe they'll help you out. Okay, now first off, um, hold the drumstick how you're going to hold it normally, whatever style you want, and then take your pointer finger, your fingernail, put it right behind the stick. You're going to do that because you're going to flip it over your middle finger to your ring finger. So it should look like that. And then you're going to pull down on your ring finger and catch it with your pinky finger. Now here's the most difficult part, is actually flipping it around and catching it with your second knuckle in between these two knuckles right here is ideal. You'll want to do that because it'll help keep speed up later for whenever you're able to have a more fluid motion with it. Um, if you try and do it with your thumb, you got to set it up before you get to your pink or pointer finger again. and It's, uh, it's not good. You're going to try it at first, but please try your best to avoid that. And, okay, so start slow control it make sure you have control over your stick if the thing gets loose it could probably knock out a tooth or poke you in the eye or hit your cat i mean there's a lot of things that go wrong with it Whew. and um whenever you start eventually getting faster with it you're not going to hold your hand straight like this it's gonna i can't even do that anymore. you're not going to hold your hand straight like this it just gets awkward uh, you see me keep having to move my wrist once you start going faster you're going to do a little sawing motion your hands or at least my hand kind of feels like it's doing that Whee! and um, let's see what else to know you're going to have to get used to flipping it twice in the beginning you're going to have to remember to count like one two um, you're counting whenever it goes back to the pointer finger like i discussed um, but whenever you start getting better at it or more comfortable, you want to start changing things up. You can flip it once and then try and do something like that. One, two, maybe. Yeah, let's get back. One, two, three, flip. One, two, three, flip. Um, your time would probably be better spent doing other things on drums, but I still find this is a great thing to do. It's just fun. But anyways, I hope I've been uh, helpful. If you have any questions, just let me know.